Oshitomoshimasu. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 10. We're in the double digits now of Oshimoshi, the Oshimoshi Idol podcast. Um, with me today are Maris and Mina, as always, and a newcomer, Ken. Say hello hey, to Hey, how's people. it going, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as always, I am a Wii Bookstore, your host, um, and this is the podcast. Yeah, so uh, Ken, usually we start off every podcast and we kind of um, ask everyone how their week was, but because you're new to the show, um, I think it's cool if we give you some time to sort of intro yourself, um, maybe give us a little bit of history on uh, sort of how you got into idols and how you got to where you are now. Where are you? Tell <laughs> us. Where are you? <laughs> Tell us. Uh, you, you mean like where in general? I mean... Are you, are you stalking? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we just want to dox you here. That's that's the whole intention of this we can, podcast. We can stalk yeah. you. I'm joking. We won't stalk you. No. Uh, I'm, I'm Ken. I'm from uh, America, like Boston area. And uh, I'm kind of a casual idol fan, but I, I know a little bit. And uh, recently I was in Japan for a trip. And uh, that's why you guys asked me to come on the show. And I'm here to talk about that. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, anyone who isn't completely informed, uh, Ken is actually a moderator on um, the Big in Japan Twitch account and their uh, Discord. Um, he's sort of my partner in that. Um, and Ken has, uh, yeah, Ken just came back from a trip to Japan um, where he did some time uh, doing idol events and stuff. Um, and also uh, he spent some time with uh, Nick, who is... Uh, a member of Big in Japan. Um, Nick is a Oragemi in Japan, right? Um, and they, they hung out and they did stuff. And um, they they also have big things coming themselves. And we'll get to that uh, later in the podcast. Um, but yeah, yeah. So how how's everyone's week, right? Um, Maris, anything happen? I know you were super busy, right? Yeah, I've been... Oh, man. I've been like, I wanted to be like around more. Because there's so much stuff happening on um, Sakamichi's side. But it's been, like, insane because I've been doing a lot of OT. Um, it's my own goddamn fault, though, because I chose to be a game designer. And, you know, that's how What is OT? Overtime. So I was doing a little mm, bit of yeah. overtime to uh, catch up on some things. Uh, what happened is the other designer decided to take... A month off and um oh, guess yeah. who is gonna have to do stuff <laughs> you damn it what the heck yeah so i've been like in meetings during the day and trying to get work done after hours so it's been fun uh other than that i i don't know what i did i just like played played this i played this a bunch of this oh um, work Bore. Yeah, because I didn't play that because I'm that behind and I just go around calling everyone boy now. Boy. <laughs> that's, boy. that's what I do. Boy. Yeah. I don't care like I don't care about like your gender or like what you identify. I just call you <laughs> boy. You have to do this with boy, your boy. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's my week. It's been real fun, guys. Super fun. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mina, did you do anything this week? Uh, I finished my last exam on Wednesday, so in free Yay! Time. Congratulations. Oh, Yay, thank you. And uh, I just went to celebrate. I had barbecue with my friends. So hey, that's what's up. Until like 9 o'clock. <laughs> like, they're like, we're going to have BBQ. I'm like, okay, I'll come. <laughs> that's yeah. good, man. That's it. That's all. I mean, it's only two more weeks before school starts again. So. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. Rip. Fine. Yeah, I know. Just, Just graduate, fun. guys. Get a job, and you know, <laughs> it's I'm boring like the though. Year, so like. <laughs> yeah. Get a job and suffer. Yeah, get a job and do OT like me. Yay. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's yeah. Public. Ken, you're starting a new job soon, aren't you? Yeah, I start Dogs. Monday next week. No, <laughs> they sent me like. 15 files of like stuff I need to know and it was like I haven't even started yet <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to serve like food <laughs> what do I need to know? that's how it, it is like, what do you, you, know, what? you gotta learn 
learn the lore. What What do you do? <laughs> what is your? Can you dox yourself a little bit more? Yeah, um, it's just a like a server job at a okay. Gyukaku, which is like a chain. Yeah, yeah, Japan, yeah. I, I totally it. know oh. Gyukaku. There's Gyukaku here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let give us like a code so we can go like free free <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah, hook us, up, my first yet. <laughs> hook us up, man. Hook us up, man. Hook us up. I'll go to Paris. Yeah. Hey, uh, Gyukaku management, you know, hit them with that sponsor for uh, Oshimoshi. You know. Yeah, so. I love Gyukaku. Yeah. This is the best. <laughs> Please sponsor us. I'm kidding. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, I didn't do much this week um, that I can remember. I probably did something. Uh, but I have been following uh, Sakamichi auditions the past few days. Um, so that's kind of been a, a big part of what's going on in the community. Um, and we'll definitely get into more details on just everything that's going on uh, with this audition later on in the podcast. Uh, but first, uh, on to news. We'll start with uh, the AKB stuff and work our way um, through 48. And then uh, we'll do PD and uh, Sakamichi out of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, in AKB news, you had the uh, Junkin preliminaries. That oh, yeah. was a thing that Ooh. happened. Right? Yes, that happened. Yeah. Um, and so you have a lot of units going on. I'm not going to name all of them, um, <laughs> but it's 26 two person units, uh, 10 three person units, three four person units, uh, two five person units, one six person, one seven through nine person. Uh, how many oh. do they actually have? They have. Uh, Six, eight. They have nine actually, um, and then one ten-person unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, a lot of people I was hoping for got in, right? Like uh, Multimora Aoi's team with uh, Honda Hitomi and Kato Yuka, so basically oh, like a sweet. PD48 dancer yeah. team. Yeah. Um, and then like Muto Tomu and Muto Oren, uh, Muto sisters, um, they made it in. So I'm kind of I'm kind of psyched about that. I didn't even um, know Muto Tomu had a sisters. had a sister. Had a sister? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you know. <laughs> had AKB no Gen 16, so she's new-ish, or the newest. Again, guys, new like my thing is, I don't know anything about it. Though. You're just Kayaki. <laughs> She's yeah. just Kayaki. You're Kayaki main. Okay, Kayaki main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mina, was there anyone that uh you were following? Me. Uh. I, I just know junk it happened, but I I haven't watched it. Yeah. Just heard of it. Um I'm so sorry. in other stuff, uh we have um so Sankyo. Uh so we had Thanksgiving um concerts at the beginning of the month, right? Um day one was for everyone who is under Senbatsu, um yes. who ranked. And then day two was Senbatsu itself, but without Jurna. Um and then about <laughs> two weeks after, um you had a concert for the unranked girls. Um, and at this concert, uh, they released um, ranks 101 through 120. Um, and so, yeah, there's 20 more girls now. We, we get to see how many votes they got, how they ranked, um, how close they were to getting in. Um, at 101, you have Mogi Shinobu, um, who was only like 43 votes away from 100. So, uh, yeah. But um, as 101, I think she got to center a song during this concert. So um, a consolation prize at, at, at least, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I want to get through some of these kind of fast. Um, AKB Mail, Mobile May, released a really weird ad. Um, it's like Fukuoka, it's Fukuoka Sena, right? And she's just kind of like running through alleys. And then like she ends up on a rooftop. And she just kind of like, what? like, I don't know, spins around on the rooftop. And there's like, there's talking over it. So I don't know what she's talking about. Right. Oh. But I feel like the idea is that like, when you subscribe to Moba May, you're like seeing into like the secret part of an idol's life where she's oh. running from. Okay. Or is I that you? <laughs> are you, are you interpreting that? Cause that just yeah, sounds that's like, my interpretation. okay. Oh, that's <laughs> my right. interpretation. I, I thought it was legit. The interpretation. No, I, no, but, well, but it's, it's legit. But it's like, how would you interpret it? Interpret yeah, it to that. It's it's like how do you interpret Hirata's mobame? It like it makes no yeah. fucking sense. You just accepted that you're getting scammed at this point. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. You just don't try to put any meaning on things, right? So maybe they were trying to do like a kanji, like edgy thing, you know? And then it just like I don't know. Yeah. 
But a nice interpretation. Her, uh, I debut. like that. I like that. Debut? Maybe it's her debut. <laughs> Her debut as a criminal, sorry. Her, her debut, debut as a criminal? As a criminal. Oh. Well, we don't know if she's oh, actually running from know. someone. We just know that she's running through alleys. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, and then she ends up on a rooftop. <laughs> and her, like, her like wardrobe changes over the course of, like, cuts. Um, oh. It's and, clearly... And she's, like, in this white dress. No. And she's, like, dancing on the rooftop. Uh, it's, it's weird. It's a, it's... Weird, it's a weird commercial. It's clearly uh, fighting uh, society's norms. And then at the end, you can see that she's free because she has a new dress and wow. she's freely <laughs> dancing on top of a rooftop, you know? I'm a Kanji fan, man. I can do this all day. <laughs> it's just what we Thanks, do. Hey, Armin. What we do. Calm down, Tenchi. <laughs> yeah, it's what we do, you know? We yeah, yeah. overanalyze um, bullshit, yeah. <laughs> Moving on, um, we have uh, Okada Nana is recovering from yeah. vocal, vocal node surgery. Um, I saw so this today. that was kind of a surprise, but uh, mm -hmm. she's at the lean that the surgery was successful. She's just in recovery now. Um, so yeah. I, I, um, I, I oh, sorry. I was just Go gonna ahead. say Go that um, it's kind of cute and sad that she like decided not to tell anyone about it for a while. Like she just waited yeah. for things because she didn't want to worry anyone, but now. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently she's fine and, you know, just going to take some time to recover. But, yeah, just, like, get well soon, Okada Nana, because I really yeah. like you. Get well. Mm -hmm. um, in Team 8, uh, the Miyazaki oh. rep, Yaguchi Moka, uh, has announced graduation. Graduation. Um, which is kind of sad for me because I actually really like Moka. And she, she's, like, a really new face to me, right? Like, she just showed up for the first time on, like, AK Bingo, like, last month um and so i really liked her kara there and so it's just kind of upsetting that it's so soon after i've gotten to know her um her we don't know when exactly she's done done but her last handshake is october 21st um oh. i think sources say that she's leaving because of um sort of like uh apprehension to stand on stage um which is mm -hmm. something similar to what uh what uh, Hayasaka, a former teammate, said also. Um, but yeah. Um, in some grad news, um, Takajo Aki, Maya Ami, and uh, Fujie Reina are going to be in a movie together, which is really cool. Um, oh. I'm only adding this in because I really love Takajo and uh, Amen when they were in AKB. Um, and yeah, so it's a movie about like them being like anime producers. Um, like one of them is a producer, one of them's like a seiyu, and one of them's like a writer. Um, so if you ever watch Shiro Bako, which is an anime itself, um, it's similar to that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all I have for AKB. Sorry if I'm going kind of light speed. Um, there's it's a lot okay. to cover. In this episode. <laughs> Last week we had a two hour episode. Like it's fine. Yeah, we just go yeah, fast. Yeah, that was really long. Yeah, keep yeah. going. Uh, NMB stuff, right? Um, so Sayane, she's graduating in October. Um, yep. She's producing her own stage for uh, the six, ge six gens and um, the D3s, um, and that's going to be September 26th. Uh, NMB is also extending their tour into China. Um, so they mm -hmm. added new China dates. Um, you have Guangzhou in October, on October 5th, and you have Shanghai on October 17th. Um, they're kind of juicing the Sayaka, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. We and have then, similar yeah. things happening in Kayaki, I guess. So we'll yeah, talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. Who else is graduating, guys? I don't know. <laughs> don't even um, start. <laughs> no, it's uh, be NMB long. subunit yeah. Quintet, uh, which yeah. is uh, Yoshida Akari, Ota Yuri, Shibuya Nagasa, Monase Sae, and Uemura Azusa. Um, they got. They have a new uh, spokesperson deal, a uh, new ambassador deal with Suntory. Um, which is a big deal because Suntory is like a fucking huge company. Um, it's like Suntory drinks, is like 120 right? years old next year. Uh, they started mm. off doing alcohol, but now okay. they're just kind of everywhere. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, last bit of 48 news: um, HKT Bingo. Uh, HKT Bingo has been going on for a few weeks now. Um, the whole concept for HKT Bingo is similar to like. Um, or it's along the same lines as like with NMB gaming about them training to do Orai stuff. Um, so HKT Bingo, they bring in like uh, comedy writers 
Um, and the goal is that these writers will be able to create like um, comedians out of HKT that can then compete um, in, a, in a comedy competition down the line. Um, and so they actually are having a live um, on September 26th through the 28th. So I guess it's like a chance for them to show off their new comedy abilities in front of an actual audience of fans. Um, Hasn't NMB yeah. been, like, been the comedy group, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so NMB, uh, they're based in Namba and Osaka, right? So, like, the comedy culture is huge there. Um, like, that's where, like, you get, like, um, Manzai, like, the whole Tsukomi bokeh stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so NMB, from the beginning, um, basically, that's what they had to be in order to appeal to their locality. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, so NMB traditionally does do, like, the comedy stuff, and, like, they're kind of expected to be funny. Um, or I think so, yeah. Yeah, so that's all I have for Japanese 48 stuff. Um, Mina can take it away for some international news. Yeah, international news. So I'll start with MNL. So their album release is called Ekakata and will be released by the end of August. And the members now have Instagram, if you want to follow. Is it uh, SNH? Is it the, yeah. the normal AKB Ekakata? Is that what it is? Um, translated though, right? Yeah, translated into Gallo. Yeah. Okay. They performed it on a few like shows in Manila, so you could. It's probably on YouTube. <laughs> uh, for SNH, so the top sixteen ranked members are now in Croatia filming their music video. Dude, I and... saw that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but that's cool. There's no details about it, so I'm waiting for the details. And JKT will attend music station. Japan festival from September 8th to the 9th. That's it. <laughs> that's all the news I have. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. So that's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, international news isn't, international stuff is not doing, happening all the time, right? Right. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, BNK doesn't really have anything going on. I mean, you still have share in music. Uh, they probably finished yeah. stuff up with Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know if they're back in. Uh, Bangkok now, but yeah. I think not. <laughs> um, so we'll move on to produce forty eight stuff. Um, we did not watch together again. That we didn't Sorry. do that again. <laughs> Next <laughs> That's week. fine. Um, I actually watched today. Uh, I watched the episode today. I didn't um, watch. And so. to uh, recap, hold on. Yeah, I mean, I live tweeted everything. That's basically my notes for this right now. It's my live tweets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So we had it was episode nine. I yes. think, right? Um, and so in episode eight, um, you just had a bunch of girls eliminated from for the second eliminations, right? Um, and so uh, in that episode eight, they had actually already divided into teams um, to practice for uh, the upcoming concept evaluation, which is them uh, basically being assigned new original songs, specifically for the show, specifically for them. Um, like the audience picked uh, which girls were going to go into which song. Um, but they, they went in practicing knowing that girls were going to be eliminated. Um, and so after the elimination, uh, you kind of have to shuffle them um, because there's an imbalance now. Like there's never, like, so before you had seven to 10 members per team, uh, but only five get to actually perform. Um, and so you have some groups that had too many members, and then you had groups like uh, Meow's group, 1,000%, uh, which was just her left. Like all yeah. of her teammates were eliminated from like ten of them. Out of ten of them, all of them were eliminated except for her. Yeah. Um, it's so sad. <laughs> yeah, but Meow yeah, is number yeah. one so, now, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. But uh <laughs> But yeah, so what they do from there basically is within the groups that have too many girls, they hold a vote on who leaves. Um and then uh so there was one group there was one other group that needed one girl. And then all the rest would go to Meow's group. Um, and so mm -hmm. of the five girls who were kicked, right? And it was kind of savage too. Like you were kicked from your group, right? And then they make, they send you to like this waiting room to be like alone and like sit. There's no chairs in there. You just sit on the floor. And it's like Whoa. they just have to wait until everyone else is kicked out of the room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so so um they they all the the kicked girls all gather up and then they go um to uh the other team's room. I forget which teams or which songs or whatever, right? Um, but uh, the group that needed a girl, they picked Sakura. Yeah. Um, 
for kind of obvious reasons, right? Because she's Sakura, right? Yeah, yeah, Sakura. Um, but what was funny, right, was that they actually asked all the girls. They asked all the girls in the room, and Sakura, Sakura wasn't there. Uh, she was like in Japan or something, right? They asked all the girls in the room, like, who wants to be on our team? And only one girl raised her hand, Minju, right? And she was like, I want to be on your team. And right, and then they were just like, no, we're getting Sakura. And then they just saw, <laughs> they all want. The they betrayal! All want <laughs> Uh, the betrayal! Yeah, so what those, the fuck? Now the rest of those girls are in are in Meow's team. Um, okay. And yeah, so we didn't get any performances in this episode nine. Um, it was them uh, figuring out the shuffle and then uh, doing uh, more practices. Um, so you had Lee Sung Gi come in um, to sort of observe the practices this time. You also have all the choreographers for for the new songs come in to evaluate their dancing. Um, and then you also have uh, all the producers for the songs come in to evaluate their singing. Um, so like beforehand, they all pick their parts, right? Um, but then they go in front of the producers and the producer's like, no, your voice doesn't work for this. We're switching. Um, and so, yeah, it's whole, a whole thing, right? Drama and all. Um, and then, yeah, it ends with them sort of, like you see like the very beginning of Rumor, um, which is one of the songs. Um, and then like it ends. Um, yeah, so that's basically what happened in episode nine. Um, and at the end of episode, we they revealed a midweek uh, uh, rankings, right? And you have uh, Meow in number one now. I'm so Sakura okay with that. I, I want Nako I'm number okay one, too. but... And I believe one, the ratio is still 6-6. Six, six. Um, yes, I would have good. to confirm that. But... Meow number one is not only unexpected, but... I, I mean, for me, it's unexpected because I did want her to like be number one, but I didn't expect her to be number one. You know I expect what? her. Like so fast. I ex I expect Meow to be like the to debut with this group and be kind of like the the captain for the Japanese side, you know, yeah, the yeah. Japanese yeah. girls, because she can like bridge the gap, right? And I didn't expect her to actually get it, get there so fast. Like it was really cool. Like I think people saw that she could like speak. Korean, Korean and then they saw you know that she can sing really well because she did really well in that performance and that just like boosted up like she's Dai life. Senpai yeah Dai Senpai yep. man Judina is not there so, so yeah yeah I, yeah I mean she's typically not right um it's just uh, this new scene and she's doing well she's she's talented enough um singing wise um and yeah, that was funny too. Time. I I think she has yeah. a really fun personality. So, yeah. Good, Good on job. her. <laughs> Good on Good her. Job. <laughs> Good job. But yeah, next yeah. time, so, um, I I just wanted to clear something up. Um, last week we were kind of unsure about how the voting system was on on cast. Um, and someone actually came into the YouTube comments and uh, gave me some details. So thanks to that person. Um, so previously it was a pick twelve system, right? Um, oh. where one person could pick twelve girls to vote every week. Um, mm -hmm. And then for the last elimin for the last ranking, not the elimination, it was pick two. Um, and it's pick two now. Um, so that's kind of where the differences start to come in about um, now everything's sort of balanced and you have uh, girls who are out of the 12 who are who used to be in and things like that, mm -hmm. right? Um, and at the very end, it'll probably be pick one. Uh, that's what just yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was uh, produce. Um, next episode is tomorrow in the morning for us. Uh, I think it's episode ten. Like yeah, um, and they'll yeah. be doing all of their performances. I think. I think everyone is performing. Um, yes, on tomorrow. ten. I think. Um, yeah. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. On to uh, Sakamichi stuff, right? Um, yes. I think we'll start. We'll start with. Um, all the new stuff, and then we'll cover so back at the very end. And then we'll we'll let Ken uh, sort of take the wheel um, and talk about uh, a lot of cool stuff that he's been doing in the past uh, couple weeks, months even, um, in Japan and sort of uh, what's come after, what and everything that's happened after. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Nogizaka, right? Nogizaka news. Um, so you have a zombie project. Um, zombie project is a thing that was announced um, a little while ago, movie right? Um, but they just released a trailer. Um, and so I'm not sure if it's a movie or a TV series, but it's pretty well shot. Um, but yeah, it's a zombie film, basically. Well, that's what it looks like. Um, 
It's not. It's not with the like super Simbatsu members, right? It's like. Um, I, think, I think Asuka is. Oh, Asuka's, Asuka's the star. Oh, Asuka's um, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and then I, I haven't seen the trailer in full, but I know that like, uh, Yam Yamashita Mizuki gets a lot of shots. Um. So yeah, yeah, there will be a link to that trailer in the description if you want to check that out. Um, we can the show trailer it, guys. also includes. Sorry. <laughs> we don't want to get banned by Sony again. No bans no today. <laughs> yeah. Um, also in that trailer is Kuboshi Rori, um, who I want to actually clear things up about. In the past, I've talked about Kubo being on hiatus, um, and uh, and I and I talked about. Um, and I talked, yes, last week about um, some news about things about Nogi that I was going to leave till later, but I forgot about it. Um, but I'm talking about it now. So Kubo Shiori, uh, I said before that she was on hiatus. She's not actually on hiatus. Um, she wasn't participating in the single um, and in the tour, um, but there was no like official hiatus announcement um, because she's still like putting stuff out like left and right, right? She, like she's in this zombie thing. She has her own uh, tour video thing going on. Um, she's still doing uh, shoots and she's doing covers and things like that. Um, so I just wanted to clear up that Kuoshiori is still around, even if she's not exactly participating in the single, um, which is something I wanted to bring up last week just because of, like the zoom in stuff. Um, but yeah, because because she is on hiatus for she she the reason that she was wasn't wasn't participating in the single and um, in the tour was because of health reasons, um, and so there was a parallel there that I wanted to bring up, but it's kind of moot now. Um, so right now it seems like she's doing fine. She's releasing stuff and it's, it's cool. Um, also you have, uh, Yamashita Mizuki, who's another third gen. Um, she's now an exclusive model with CanCam. Um, I think she's the second third gen to get an exclusive deal, uh, after Kubo Shiori. Um, and it looks like these days Mizuki is getting a lot of fashion deals. She's getting a lot of jobs, um, which is nice. Uh, third gen sort of gaining traction. Um, and and she's then... very powerful though she's powerful yeah she's i mean look at her like she's super cute and <laughs> not make sense if she didn't get a lot of deals like that you know yeah 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 like, including was more... her popularity and everything yeah i think music was the first third gen that i really noticed um... but yeah uh other news you have um mayan uh, Shiani Shimai actually has a uh, drama that uh, released on netflix internationally um, the Japanese name is Yareta Kamo Inkai. Um, I think the, in, the English name is like, uh, could have gone all the way council. Um, and so basically the whole premise of the drama, right, is that you have a panel of like experts. Um, it's three people. Shiraishimai is one of them. Oh, yeah, um, and yeah. she plays a character. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and basically they have like dudes and one female. Um, come in and basically tell a story in the, about their past, about um, a situation with another person where they weren't sure whether or not that person wanted to sleep with them. Okay. Right? It's like basically they came, they come in and they're like, they tell their story and they're like, "Could I have smashed?" Right? And and yes. then the panel tells them, tells them yes or no, and they give reasons. Right? Um, and that's the whole premise of the thing. And it's as ridiculous as it sounds. Like it was actually like kind of a wholesome thing to watch. Yeah, right? I can like, see that. The, I kind of want to watch it. Like now. the message is really nice, right? Yeah. Like because like they're because it, it's just about like a bunch of dudes and they're like, yeah, I didn't know if this girl wanted to fuck me or not. Chad, um, Chad is saying then, that my aunt always, always says says no. Yes, yeah, she She's does. She's like, no, you, say no you wouldn't have smashed. She never, she never, you had no chance, bro. You had no <laughs> chance. <laughs> I was like, nope. Yeah, yeah, but but because it's like three of them, the dudes always say yes, right? And so like they always, so it always cancels out. But they always let her like explain um, her reasons, and like they always see like the validity in it. Um, but like the bottom line message, right? Is sort of like um, it doesn't matter whether or not you could have, right? It's that because like, you, you did have it. this memory, and it's precious, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah, you like did the memory it. itself, like the fact that you felt this way means something. Um, um, which actually would, made it really nice. I would cool. say the opposite. I'll say like the fact that you didn't says a lot too. It was like it's sad, <laughs> sad memories. It's not good memories. It's sad memories, man. Sad. I I yeah. kind of want to do that. I want to like 
on on the Discord server we have like Tinder Zaka sometimes, and it's just like <laughs> it's just me <laughs> trying to like. Well, it's just me talking about like relationship stuff sometimes, like things that oh. I've done, and trying to match people in that server. But like, it, it never work. worked. Yeah, it just never worked. <laughs> Does it work? No. Okay. No. But we should you know. we should open like a a Tinder just for um for, for you guys. idol <laughs> idol fans. Yeah. For idol fans. Yeah. <laughs> Develop an app. They meet up at events. Yeah, I feel like that would go so bad though. Like, if you think about it, you match two people together, they get into an argument about like because they don't. They're oshi men. They're like, I don't like your oshi. What? But that's that's like a cool a cool fight to have. I feel like I feel like I want to experience that. Yeah, just or like their oshi gets between them. Like, oh yeah. They, they love their Oshi more than the other person. Or, yeah. Or the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't be with you. You don't love Oshi enough. Yeah. Oh. I like that stuff. Let's let's make it happen, guys. Yeah, drama. Let's make it happen. <laughs> but as a developer, like, like there's a, there's, I mean, you wouldn't be able to see a lot of those interactions. You basically saw some of them, but. Yeah. But then we would have a segment in this podcast that is just helping people okay. find love and it's just me saying okay. like no <laughs> you it's not gonna work <laughs> it's just that that's how it's gonna go and you just being mean weebs this is what's gonna happen is he like the simon of oshiboshi <laughs> so weebs is just <laughs> the simon of oshiboshi and mina uh, mina's I gonna be blocks. like yeah you guys would you guys would work together <laughs> <laughs> I just make up a lie. Yeah, yeah. Just and I'll be like, no. <laughs> and Weebs would just be mean. Yeah. You can try too, Ken. I don't know what kind of personality it would have, but yeah, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new project. Yeah. Um, I think that's all I have for Nogi Zaka. I want to add in, though, that Yoshimoto Zaka is actually uh, concluding their auditions, um, oh. I think, in the next week. Oh boy, um, so many auditions. And, Shoot. I mean, yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, we've seen like their, their, they, we've seen like choreography videos yes. um, for Yoshimoto Zaka. And like the song actually sounds like really good. And it's just like Sasuga Sakamichi, right? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> like you're like, everyone thinks this is going to be a joke group, right? But then the song is really good and you just don't know what it is anymore. No one ever really knew what it was. If it's better than student dance, I'm in. I'm in. I am fan number one. Let's do it. It's it's better than student dance. Yay! It's hard to be, hard to not be better than student dance. Is teacher teacher better than student dance? Like I don't know. That's that's a good question. That's debatable. Um, for the Maris minded people. We that's debatable. Which one's let's better? let's get a poll running. Yeah. Teacher oh, teacher versus uh. Teacher teacher. Yeah, we'll put we'll put it up on Twitter. Yeah yeah, put it. <laughs> poll important poll. All right, yeah. Yeah. let's uh, um, let's move on. Yeah, that's all I have for Nogizaka if you want to go on to Kiyaki stuff before we go into auditions. All right, so, uh, yeah, we'll talk about Sakamichi auditions soon because that's, like, a big thing that happened. Um, mm -hmm. And I wasn't really <laughs> expecting it, but it happened, so... Um, all right, so Kanji side, we have a few things. Um, uh, first of all, uh, they're gonna be on Music Station today slash tomorrow slash I don't I don't know because like Japan is weird and weird <laughs> different time zones, but they're gonna be on Music Station and they're gonna perform uh, Ambivalent for the first time on TV. Um, also, they're probably gonna sh they're gonna show parts of uh, Kyaki Republic and perform Ambivalent in the next uh, Kyakite Kakenai. Which is, I was joking that wouldn't it be nice that Keaki would like perform their own stuff on their show? Because it's been like since, I don't know, Futari Saison or whatever that they don't do it. <laughs> but yeah, they're apparently they're like, oh yeah, we have this show that we can have performances. So they're going to do that. Uh, yeah, so watch that. Uh, I'll probably be tweeting about it because I'm going to watch it. Uh, Chad is saying it's tonight. But tonight means tomorrow for me. That's why I'm confused. So, all right. Uh, second thing, uh, 
which is it kind of ties into uh the conversation we were having about cyanide being like you know overused yeah. how do we're, how do you say milking her milk, that's yeah. a weird thing i don't want to say that about zooming <laughs> i love zooming too much to say that but um they're still working zooming a little bit here um so we just got an announcement today that she's getting a PB before a uh, photo book before she graduates and it's gonna it's gonna come out on October 3rd um, which kind of it might it might explain why she wasn't around for a lot a lot of things Kiaki related maybe she was in Italy doing stuff you know um, but also like graduation we heard about it mm -hmm. so uh, it was in uh, Napoli Italy so she went to Italy, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I just... Oh, and another thing that I don't really care about, but fans might care about, there's there are Mizugi shots. So you can see Zumin in bikini, which yeah, I don't, I don't that happens. personally yeah. care yeah. about. So I think Ken there's... cares about so. <laughs> Good on you, Ken. Go see some I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, I but you had that look on your face. You had that yes, look. I just saw like, like... You had that look of like. He was so happy inside. He's like, yes. <laughs> he's like, yes, the shots. Okay, I've been trying to contain it, but I'm super excited about the photo book. There you yeah, go. I love her. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We also got a, a Twitter account uh, that is yeah. like at Zumiko yes. book. Uh, at Zumi. yes. Zumiko, which is cute. Mm -hmm. It's little Zumi. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see probably a bunch of like, like tweets like Meru tweets that we saw like that twitter account was great so we'll probably see stuff like that from from this twitter account i hope so did we really get much from like the sugai account or the not the really i think Sugai's like account? sugai was just like super i don't know busy but then Neru is always really busy but i think like Neru, but i mean it's it's someone know. running the twitter account it's not them yeah i know yeah. but i'm saying like it's busy in a way that she couldn't shoot things the way that Neru could, mm. or maybe like the guy was following Neru around. I don't know more. I don't know. I just think all those photos, or most of those photos, were just like cuts that didn't make it into the book. Yeah, um, it did. We didn't get a lot of like, like the video stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get a lot of like. Yeah, but but it was videos when she was there in in Paris. Mm. That wasn't like a lot of videos. I think we got like a few, but yeah, Neru Neru just like got so much more out of her Twitter account it was insane. Like that Twitter account was great. Um, talking about Neru, let's just talk about Neru then. Uh, yeah, yeah. Talking about PB, <laughs> uh, she she is like the highest selling uh, or second. She, se she has 190k sales. Yeah, hun um, which I believe makes her. I believe makes her second to Shiraishi Mai for yeah. solo female photo books in Gravier. Which has been for a um, while. Which is, yeah. yeah. She, she's been second for, for a while. Nobody's going to beat Shiraishi Mai unless, like, yeah, Hirata yeah. Yurina yeah. maybe just decides to. <laughs> but Hirata is. We don't need a touchy photo yeah, book yeah. yet. We don't need one. Yeah. I don't, don't think she's doing yet. it anyway, so. Uh, the yeah, other yeah. thing. I yeah. actually read. Sorry, go ahead. I, I, I was just going to say, I actually read, like, the Oricon, like, article about. Neru, Neru reaching 100, 190k and like it was actually really nice because like they talk about how um, she's like the new queen of photo books or whatever um, and then they like promo all the stuff that she's been doing kind of like solo out of Kiyaki right like, so you have like uh, the Tanabata sort of two episodes that she did right um, and then like the two episodes of Neru HK um, on NHK or whatever yeah yeah which is over by which the way nice guys read. there was two yeah. episodes and it's mm -hmm. over now so Wait, go, it Kubo in it. Go watch. It was like, yeah, it was only two episodes. Yeah, go watch Neru. See how people make fireworks, heart-shaped fireworks, yes. and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, fun. just to highlight stuff. I mean, like you had Okubo on, who I really like. She's one of my favorite gaming, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess her icon and her partner. I don't know who the other person was. Um, and then uh, there was like a segment where she goes and she eats dinner with an Indian family. Um, yeah, and then yeah. and then they had Kyokori on um, guest. Yeah, and so with the new <laughs> song, stuff. with the new song that is stuff. awful. I don't like the new song. Yeah, yeah, Kyokori on had to change his song because of copyright issues. It was not so. fun. 
but Nero doesn't do a, a good I don't know like she she's still super cute but I think Mayan just nails the whole Hyokori Han thing way more than Nero did but it's because it was just like a huge gap between like regular Mayan and the the Hyokori Han thing like I don't know I fell in love I'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> but I mean Shiraishi was always like a good good at variety right from the yeah beginning. she's like, good she's yeah. good yeah. Uh, also, Nero is getting a mysterious Instagram and Twitter page uh, for for a couple mm -hmm. of day or weeks, I guess, two weeks or something. I, don't I know. heard it was five days, or which five sounds days? like ridiculous. Why would you make a account for five days? Um, we don't know what yeah, it is. It's a mystery, just like Shiraishi's was, right? At yeah. least this one, you so don't have be... to be eighteen, so maybe not drinks. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So if you want to follow that account, um, it's at agaru, A-G-A-R-U, underscore Neru46 on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Go follow Neru-chan. Follow. Neru. Uh, okay. So next thing that happened this week, the single called Ambivalent was released. Uh, let's talk about that. Because <laughs> uh, we got, for the first time, Keaki lost sales. Like, they got less sales than the last I mean, it's album. just first day, though. Right? Yeah, I'm saying first day. Yeah, yeah, first day. So, like, first day... I can I can give you guys numbers, because I did research. Uh, so, <laughs> we started... We started first, first day, uh, Silent Majority, which is insane, guys. Silent Majority debut. Debut. First thing they've ever done. 191k. That's a lot for like a first day of a brand new group. Like, what the fuck? I think, I think forty eight groups return that about that much for their new groups too. Oh, like, really? At least they break a hundred k. But I they so. almost they almost got two hundred k, right? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, second second was Sekai. Uh, Sekai got two hundred and fifty k first day. Then you go mm -hmm. Tari Sezon. Uh, 353k. Uh, Fkyoan, uh, 456k. And then Kazuni Fukaretemo, uh, 483. So not a big jump from Fkyoan to Kazuni. But then from Kazuni to Garaware, we got 638k. Sure. Almost three, uh, yeah, almost more than half a million, yeah. And then for this one, for Ambivalent, first day, they got uh, 602k, uh, which is like, they sold like 30k less, but that's okay, I feel like. And then the second day, they got 118k, and right now they're sitting about 721k. So I think Ambivalent will get to the millions for sure, I guess. Hope so. Mm -hmm. Hope so. Yeah, yeah, hope so. Because uh, Garaware yeah. did it, so... And I feel like ambivalent. I don't know, man. Garaware is a pretty... I like Garaware. I'm not going to shit on, on the single, you know? Um, but maybe, like... I think, like... I think the vibe of this single... I like the vibe of this single a little bit better. Even though we have student dance second song. <laughs> but, like... Okay. The rest of the album is cool, right? We have like I'm Out yeah. and we have Zumin's solo single. Oh my god. If you guys can I mean I'm not saying go find it somewhere, but maybe go find it somewhere. The selfie TVs <laughs> are amazing. Uh especially I'm not i I'm not saying this because I'm biased towards Techi, but like Techi's Tetch's selfie TV this time is so fucking cute. Yeah, the it's one with Memi? the cutest, yeah. yeah. It's Memi and Techi going yeah, on yeah, a Memi date. And yeah, and so Memi cute. And Memi, it's honestly the gayest shit I've seen all year from <laughs> Idols. It's so cute, though. From Idols, it's, it's so straight cute. up the gayest thing. And I've seen, like, Idols kiss on stage. But this one is just, like, so pure and cute. And Memi is, like just hugging Techi all the time and like just they're just so cute together oh. Miggy says no bias for Maris no <laughs> bias no bias but Techi's Push adorable says hi Ken I'm sorry a lot Push of people are hi. saying hi Ken oh. so there you go 
I don't um, know why. I don't know why people like me. You're. <laughs> he doesn't know why. Because you're a famous dude. Like, yeah. yeah. We love Ken. Ken's yeah. great. So yeah, go support. <laughs> go support Kakizaka. Let's make them reach uh, a million if you can. Go buy one of their singles, and watch their their selfie TVs because it's adorable. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, I mean, like Nogi's new song that hasn't broken a million yet. Um, they did with, uh, they did it in the first week with last the last single, Synchronicity, because mm -hmm. Mayan, Ecoma, stuff like that, right? But they're in the 900Ks right now, um, I think, for the new one. Let's see, let's see. Maybe like having having a lot of like, well, maybe being the Zoomin single, like the less Zoomin single, will draw drive more sales. I don't know. Let's see. I just hope they make it again because I think this single deserves it. I think there's there's some good stuff in this single. It's a very important single for Keaki, I guess. Yeah. Um, I just want to say. Go ahead. No, well, go ahead. What were you going to say? I was just going to move move along and just talk about Republic DVD. Yeah, go ahead. All right. <laughs> okay. So, Keaki Republic DVD. I uh, gotta say I'm biased. I mean, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, every you watched it and you you agree with me. It was it was cute. Uh, but yeah, Kyaki Republic DVD is gonna release. Oh my god, the last year Kyaki Republic is gonna happen, guys. Yeah, but remember when you said that it wasn't gonna release though? <laughs> I did say that it was. I don't know. Techi wouldn't be center anymore and Pechan would be 32 and we wouldn't be able to see Khaki Republic but it's actually happened so like I'm on brand right now I'm on brand right now because this week I was like spreading spreading fake news apparently because I didn't get confirmation I say like, okay guys it's fine you guys can call me a fake news senpai for a week because yeah I don't know if that's I said that Sakamichi for Sakamichi audition, Neru, Neru was going to pick for Kanji. And a lot of people said that that's true, but I couldn't find a single source that confirms it. <laughs> so I might be I might be fake news. So there you go. Fake news, senpai, follow me on know. Twitter. Uh, yeah, so Kaki Republic is actually happening and it's going gonna, it's gonna to release on the 26th of September, which is pretty soon. Uh, I mean, pretty soon for a one year ago single uh, DVD, I guess. I don't know if that's pretty soon, but it's around the corner. Well, Go ahead. Also, like, for, for, like, birthday lives, at least in the Nogi Zaka world, they always release a year after. So. Yeah, I think we were just, like, just, just, just I don't want to watch One Man Live again, man. Just give us something. <laughs> like, Techi, Techi is, like, two years old, and she's, like, we watched that so many times, right? So, and we keep watching, like, seeing cool pictures from Kyaki Republic from last year. And we're like, dude, this looks great. And then all the members do interviews, and they're like, yeah, like, the that concert, we were so tight. We're so good. It was, like, the best concert. And I was like, we'll never see it, guys. That's, but we will. Uh... Yeah, and it's expensive as fuck. I'll just let you guys know that. So prepare your wallets because Keaki is like coming for you. We have like merch, new merch from tour. We have like new singles. We have Zooming's photo book. We have Keaki Republic DVD. What else, guys? Just like, what the hell? So yeah, it's it's very expensive, but go buy it because it's, it's going to be you cool. have the money. Yeah. No, just sell if something. You have the money. Sell something okay. and you're fine. Okay. It's all your fault. I'm, I'm done. Sell my body. Yeah. Sell your body. Sell your kidneys. <laughs> sell your kidneys. Money. Yeah, you don't need those. It costs a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was gonna tag on at the end here. I actually, so I was, I'm helping someone get into Kiyaki Saka, right? Um, and they were like wondering, like, how, how is that going? Uh, what did you do? It's, what is your tactic? Mostly, mostly. Okay, so I actually hold like watch parties for Keiki Te Kake Nai, okay. um, like starting okay. from the beginning. Um, so that's mainly my that's my my method, right? And then they ask yeah. questions and I give answers. Um, but in the in light of like the Zoom in news about her graduating, um, someone was wondering like uh, just how 
how each member is in terms of like uh, public awareness, right? Who, who's aware of each member, right? And I actually ran uh, Google Analytics, like I abused the hell out of like Google's trends um, service or whatever, to the point where like they just blocked me out of their API. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just banned want, I just from to say Google. That, like... You heard your first. <laughs> shit. He's getting banned everywhere. He's getting banned uh, by Google now. Holy shit! I oh, I just I just like put together like a list of like um who in uh who in who like the a ranking based on like Google about like how many searches and how they trend, um and then also like uh. So like the and then all the like spikes in like their searches or whatever, right? And so like you have like Harada Mayu, right? She's like in the top half, I think, of kanji. <laughs> it might be just us. It might be just international fans. No, no, making I, fun. I, vote, I it's only it only votes in Japan, and then okay. I used everyone's kanji, kanji, everyone's full names. Is Harada um, Mayu search. being used as a joke by Japanese fans? I hope so. I hope so. So hold on, I have it right here. Um, Harada Mayu is eight in kanji since <laughs> oh. debut to now. She's eight. <laughs> and so basically, she has the second highest spike in searches for her scandal, right? The first highest being when Techi collapsed at uh, at a uh, New Year's oh, at Kohaku. Kohaku. Yeah, Kohaku. Yeah, it's like the the top eight, right? With Harada at the end is Hirate. Uh, Neru, Risa, uh, Zumin, um, Rika, uh, Shida, and then Sugai, and then Harada is eight. Um, that makes sense. And I have sense. the rest of the That actually Hiragana makes too. sense. Uh, the top eight. Um, then you would get probably like, yeah, Pawn, and then you get like, yeah, yeah, the other members. But like those members make a lot of sense. That they're actually that order also makes a lot of sense. So. Harada Mayu, I don't know what you're doing there. Get out of my kanji. Stop haunting us. You're Mayu, a curse. Ma Get out of here. <laughs> Get Mayu, out of here, man. Mayu, Mayu at least like stayed or tried to stay in the business. So like you, I mean, there's like Suzuki Mizuho, right? Who just disappeared. Yeah, I don't um, even recognize but, that I mean, girl. Yeah, but like there's like there were like rumors like this year, last year, that Mayu was like uh, auditioning for a, a whack group. Um, but she didn't make it, so. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Kayaki. What if what if <laughs> Mayu is like one of the faceless members from Sakai Mishi audition? Oh. Whoa! Oh, plot twist. Some Big people break. some people are saying Shoot. that some of the Sakai Mishi audition people is actually Kanji Kayaki girls, because <laughs> just based <laughs> on their voice, they're like, "Is this Yone son? <laughs> is this is this Yone?" It just sounds like Yone. And then there's another one that sounds exactly like Sugai. So I've been just like yeah. following that and I'm like, dude, what if? Yeah. What if? Is that <laughs> no, well, they, just... they go through several layers of auditions, right? Before they reach this point. I know. Um, but what if it's a yeah, joke? Yeah. What if it's actually just yeah. kanji members? Is that what they have so, to do uh, to transfer now? <laughs> like after the audition? Yeah. In order to Kenny. <laughs> they're like, they're like, we want to protect 21, so I'm just gonna like reapply again and just go through everything. <laughs> well, so we can only sick, get 21. They're sick of kanji. Or they're sick of kanji and they're like, well, I want to be in Hiragana now. I want to be in Nogi now. I feel like that's what Zoomin is doing. I feel like Zoomin is just gonna move to Hiragana. She's auditioning right now. Yeah, she's, she's, moving, right now. she's moving to Hiragana. I know a lot of people that would be very happy to see Zoomin in Hiragana. And yeah. agree that she kind of fits Hiragana better. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. So I'll put a link to the list that I made uh, in the description. Um, but now we're gonna move on to uh, Sakamichi draft. So uh, yeah. for people who are in forms. Um, so I, I, use, I said the word draft, but we're not really sure if it's draft. It's so audition. Sakamichi auditions. Yeah. Audition. Yeah, so um, started a couple months ago. We saw CMs for it. Um, and so basically all the girls have been filtered down to uh, 86, right? Mm -hmm. And um, three days ago, they started doing showrooms. Um, and these showrooms are about um, basically um, the audience getting to know these girls and then uh, management can see which girls are popular and which aren't. Um, and then they can make the decision from there. Um, I'm, I don't think the actual rank 
um, means anything. Like, it does mean, like, hey, we got these views, but yeah. um, it's not a final say on anything. Um, but then again, we also don't have very much information at all about um, the audition process um, and what it's going mm -hmm. to be after t tonight's the last night. It ends at 6 a.m. my time. Mm -hmm. I don't know what time it is for you guys. So the um, fake that's... news I got, fake news I got <laughs> that I was trying to tell <laughs> everyone news. was that uh, we have a few people picking. Uh, that's what I heard. Uh, but honestly, it might be fake news, guys. So there you go. Disclaimer. Um, it was Nehru and maybe Sagai for Kanji, but I heard more Nehru. Nehru for Kanji, Kumi for Gana, and Mayan for Nogizaka. Um, which is weird that Yuka is not picking for Kanji. I just think mm -hmm. that people believe Nehru more than believe Sagai. <laughs> I guess they're like, Sagai is... Let's just pick Nehru. Nehru's smart. Let's just put her there to pick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. like, rumors like this sort of come out of the idea that, um, so, in the past, AKB has had drafts, right? Yeah. Where they get a bunch of girls to audition for 48G, not for a specific mm -hmm. group. Yeah. Um, and that's the reason why people are kind of expecting it out of this, just because it's a joint audition for all of Sakamichi, all of 46. Um, yep. For all being uh, Nogi, Hiragana, and Kanji. Um, not, Yoshimoto Zaka is doing their own auditions right now. Um, but yeah, so that's where a lot of like the draft rumors sort of come out, and everyone's sort of, sort of expecting this draft. And uh, uh, an element of the draft is that um, the captains of each group basically get their pick of the girls, like a sports draft works. Um, so yeah, that's where that comes out. Um, so yeah, so we're nearing the end of uh, these showrooms now, um, right? And so there have been uh, there have been a lot of uh, girls who get noticed sort of on social media and even in news. Um, one person in particular, uh, number fifteen. Number um, yeah, 15, fifteen, rest in peace. Number fifteen, rest so in peace. So the story behind number fifteen is that uh, the first night she streamed for like four hours, right? And she pulled. Yeah. 170k hits um which is a lot of fucking hits a lot of, right like yep. to just to compare like when uh saito asuka had her stream like a week ago two weeks ago that was in the 80 80 k's um and yeah and yeah so she got 170k views um in that first night um and yesterday uh she just sort of disappeared from yeah, everything she so she there. she was in yeah. the she was first place in the showroom rankings for a while yeah um, and then she kind of got switched out like back and forth with number 67 oh, um Ooh, but then last night she just disappeared right and so she took the, all the those rumors tokyo that towers that, all those towers, tokyo she took towers. it all <laughs> rest in peace so, she took it all yeah, the rumors that come out of it is that like she just scammed everyone. She was there for the Tokyo Towers, and then she was gone. Some people are saying that she had an inside man on showroom, um, like affecting yeah. uh, viewer numbers. Um, some some of it's like uh, she had she's affiliated with another agency, um, agency. and there wasn't an agreement between her agency and Sony that was concrete enough for her to stay. Um, just a lot of different things. You have CEO boyfriend. Uh, the list could go on, but basically she's gone, and that's an event. <laughs> Who are we voting for? That's backwards to me. Oh. Who are you voting for? It's not on the <laughs> stream, though. <laughs> okay. You're voting yeah, for me. So, vote for you? Yeah. Are you applying? Are yeah, you this, is, this is the room, right? This is the showroom, so... Yeah, guys, uh, oh, I want to be, oh, oh sure. Number 420? Yeah, 420. I want to be um, Kanji Kekizaka. I'm kidding. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm She's cool. the best girl vote. I'm cool. But yeah, vote for yeah, me, I guess. So, so yeah, the showrooms are really fun. I mean, you just it sit is. in them and you yeah. chat. It is. And sometimes you get red. Sometimes you throw stars. Sometimes you throw towers if you want to pay $100. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know who you are, but... <laughs> I I think it's very weird that I I think like there there are a few things that stood out to me. First of all, faceless people. I don't understand what, why they're yeah. there. I don't understand that. <laughs> why do we have faceless girls there? Like, 
I know, I'm sure that your personality is nice, but I want to see your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> In the past, we've had Sakamichi facelesses make it to the group. Yeah, I'm not I, saying... I, I can't remember who. But like, I'm not saying that it's not, like... I'm just saying, like, it's weird for me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I didn't even open a single one of those streams because I kind of want to look at people. Second, it, it might be a privacy thing. Like, if you is. don't pass, you don't want your face out there. Yeah. Well, that's why they yeah. don't they don't talk about like names or anything, right? Because even though it's not important, because people find out your shit, like they really do. They dig out and they figure out the stupid shit you've done in your yeah. life. Yeah, they figure shit out. Yeah. Idle um, fans are detectives, bro. Yeah. 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 Two chan. Yeah, sure. Everywhere. I was I was <laughs> tweeting about this the other day. I was like. This is so smart because they don't have to like do any background checks. All they do is like just put this girls on <laughs> camera and then everybody else does their job. It's like, okay, this girl did this, 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 and this. Like everything <laughs> just like Yeah. So so it's great. They're Reveals like, Oh itself. great. I don't Reveal. have to do anything. Yeah. Like they're not part of my group yet, so I can just like get people to just <laughs> figure out shit for me. It's great. Um, I mean one story we have is for like number thirty. Yeah, let's um, talk about 30 it. 30 is yeah. my favorite, by the way. I love number 30. I want right? number 30 to um, burn in uh, Hellfire. But, <laughs> she, but apparently no, she's tweeted in the way. past. She's tweeted in the past um, some anti-Kanji things, right? Yep. Uh, she said that a lot Kanji has a lot of ugly girls with bad personalities. Um, and then there was apparently another tweet specifically targeting Nehru having a fake personality. Um, look, girl, you yeah, can't say that yeah. shit. I'm the <laughs> look. Kayaki fans are the only ones that can call Nero a snake. She is not a Kayaki fan, <laughs> so she cannot. Okay, she and I know she's like a Hirate, a Hirate Oshi too. So I don't, I don't accept you. Get out of my fandom. Don't touch my Kayaki girls. Okay, just get out of here. Just get out. Burn in the yeah, hellfire. I, I, don't I, mean, I was in her first room, and I liked her from the start. I yeah. mean, but you're a snake like, too. You're a snake, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well revealed. Shit. Yeah, I mean, like in the stream, she was being evasive about like Kayaki questions, right? Um, yeah. Someone asked her her Oshi, and her first response was, "I don't think it's okay for me to say," <clears throat> because it was because I mean later on she revealed it was actually Itomarika from Nogizaka, and yeah. she's a grad, so um, she wasn't really sure that applied, um, but something was fishy there, right? Um, and then, like, there's a situation where uh, someone asked her to, like, sing ambivalent or something. Um, and she sang a Nogi song instead. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I mean... <laughs> honestly, I just hope, I just hope that I'm not fake new senpai and Nero's actually picking. And then she's like, you? You talk trash about me? You said no, bad no. stuff about just, Kanji? Screw you. Just, You're not. Just imagine the narrative, right? Oh, if, so if management picks her for Kanji, right? They could be like, oh, it's like the enemy turned friend. Or they could do like a girl who hates Kanji, so she's changing it from the inside. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. And then and then you could and you can build a Nehru versus Mito-chan rivalry, <laughs> and it would just be great. Nehru is gonna murder her. And and you know who else is gonna murder her? Freaking Akane. Like she's gonna join and Moria Moria is gonna go like straight up to her neck. I just can't wait. I just can't wait. Maybe maybe make her join. Let's see how long this will go. <laughs> Let's see how long she Well lasts. she it's pretty clear she second, wants to be Nogi and I hope she yeah. makes Nogi. Second day, all twenty one members, well, including Zumin, graduate. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just this girl in kanji. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, Harris's reaction is actually that. pretty funny. Um, <laughs> just because I, like, I tweeted out, right? Like, I just heard that uh, yes. number 30 trash talk Kanji, and she's mm -hmm. my, I knew she was my favorite, right? And so, like, people just come out of the woodwork. I don't know who they are, right? In my notifications. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Did I say and, anything? And one person, Did I say anything? No, you didn't say anything. Oh, damn it. But one person was like, I hope she makes it into Kanji. It's going to be a bloodbath. All the members are <laughs> going to bully her, right? <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, wait, if you say that, right, doesn't that prove her point that Kanji is full of bad personalities yeah, and they're all going to bully her? I guess so. <laughs> I, I honestly think Kanji girls will not bully her, but she will probably not be tight or whatever. Yes. So, 
Yeah. And then there was someone who I'm pretty sure was my follower who has now blocked me. It's Karina's um, fault. Oh. There you go. Karina's on chat Karina. saying that it's her, so, that it's her it's fault. Her. <laughs> <laughs> but someone asked me, yeah, right, do you hate Kanji, right? Like in response, because I said she hates Kanji and th- now she's my favorite. So they asked me, do oh, I hate Kanji? Yeah. And I replied with an upside down smiley face. <laughs> and I got blocked. <laughs> you got blocked. <laughs> I mean the that. the real the real question is does kanji like kanji? That's that's the real question mm. here. I'm oh, kidding. Shit. I'm kidding, oh, guys. Just, just get out of here. <laughs> Let's just move on. Does kanji like kanji? That's deep because they're all like edgy and question. shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> does kanji like yourself? I mean, yeah. I think I think they're gonna be like puppies, like sweethearts, and they're just gonna be real nice to the girls that that join. But like, they're gonna have a hard time fitting into the the twenty one vibe, you know. And Zumin is yeah. leaving, so yeah, twenty <laughs> or twenty one minus one plus one is still twenty one, right? <laughs> it's gonna be twenty one. Twenty one minus one equals zero. Twenty one plus one equals zero. Yeah. But yeah. minus one plus one. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be more know. than we one, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's probably gonna be more one. Just because there's, there's an insane number of like auditionees in this showroom level. Yeah. Right. There's 86. Um, yeah. But also, who else? Yeah. Who else was was there was another there was another scandal. There's like one that has a that has a boyfriend apparently that they figured out oh, who yes, has a boyfriend. Really. One or two. <laughs> One or two that they yeah. fi- figured out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure tons of them have There's had boyfriends to... in the past. Yeah, they probably did. There is one that they're like, but this girl likes to sleep around. And I was like... <laughs> so Nishi needs to join an idol group so idols can I, I'm get at rid of right dating now. Ben. Oh, you're looking at Of number 67 with a boy. There um, you go. She's currently number one. Number... 67. I supported her. I watched her show through day one. She's cute. She's, she's cute. So, yeah, she's, she's cute. Really, but like, protect her. She's only, I think she's 15 or 60. But like, my oof. favorite, my protect favorite her. is 35. 35. My favorite is 35. So she's so fucking kanji. So, I know, but yeah, I just saw so. her. Like, I, I just, I just. I had all these girls, right, in the website, and I just went straight to that girl for some goddamn reason. I started watching her stream, and I was, like, on the server being, like, guys, 35, and then everybody started liking 35. She is, like, real bad, but I like her. (laughs) She's cute. She's cute. But, like, her entire stream was, like, my Oshiman is Asuka. I'm 16. I'm 15 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Oshiman is Asuka. I'm 15 years old. That's all she said the entire time. And it was like two hours. And then she said that she can't dance. She's bad at sports. She can't like wink. Like she's just bad overall. I want her in kanji. Oh, and she's a, she's a, she likes to stay home. Just like Hirate Yurina. So there you go. Oh, she fits kanji. I love her. She's my favorite. But there are like other girls, uh, 44. Is cute as hell as well, but I think she yes. would fit Gunna better. Uh, who else? Yeah, 30, 30 is savage, man. Let's just have number one savage as well. 67 is good. I think 35 of oh, 25 was good too. Yeah, there are some girls that had like potato webcams as well, like they just. <laughs> You could That's not funny, see, yeah. you could not see things clearly, and I was like, you need to get that fixed. And then one girl actually got it fixed, and we like her better now, because she doesn't have a potato <laughs> Yeah, She doesn't have a potato webcam, it was nice. She fixed it. Yeah, she fixed it, so it's good. That's good. Uh, anyone else have any uh, noteworthy numbers that they want to throw out? Uh, I can't believe y'all are sleeping on 18. Like, come on. 18. Come on. 18 for Nogizaka, please. 18. I mean, she's, she's I think I, I've seen her. I think I, think I know 18. who 18 is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 42. I'm just saying 42. 42. I like 42. 42. I love 42. She's in my short list. I love 42. Uh, she's on my list. She's too. like fourth ish. Like, she's always like hovering around fourth. It's so crazy how many yeah. views those girls are getting, dude. And she, yeah. 42 has shit taste in glasses, though. Her pair of glasses are so. <laughs> I can't believe you just judged her on that. 
Oh, you don't know Biebs, man. It's like, mm. it like he talks. He has like the the judgments are very like. Yeah, I don't like this because that's bad tasting. You said that about like another thing the other day, and I was just laughing about it. It's like, oh, this person has shit taste on like a minor thing, like <laughs> earrings, and I was like, all right, I, cool. <laughs> I don't remember between anything about earrings, but. Yeah, I actually had one one ally about the whole thirty thing, right? Like yeah. she retweeted and she was like, uh, "Nogizaka needs controversial queens," and I was like, "Yeah, I'm about that, right?" But then she went private after, and I was like, "I can't, you can't. There's no camaraderie here if you go private on me." Yeah, <laughs> I feel like Please I feel me. like people will follow you on Twitter and think that you're kind of this guy that is on Oshimoshi, but then you're just like a troll on Twitter. You're just like the worst on Twitter. And then they watch it here and it's like, oh yeah, he's the guy that like talks about news and stuff. But then, yeah, it's it's not true. Just don't follow him. I was him. just saying, what if I called your glasses ugly, Matthew? Well, you can say that. It wouldn't actually hurt me. Hey, <laughs> me and Matthew have the same glasses. So if you say- Are you wearing them right now ugly. though? You're not. No, I changed glasses, but I have the same <laughs> pair as you, so. Don't call him, don't call his glasses ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also going on at the same time as Sakamichi auditions is Supergirls auditions on yes. Showroom. Um, yeah. I actually watched a lot of those. What is Yesterday, that? I mostly watched Supergirls. Um, Supergirls is a uh, idol group. So do you know Wasta, World Standard? And like yeah, Jen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I know yeah, them, but they're I don't know. Idol Street. Yeah. They're Idol Street like them. And Supergirls is actually like the really up and coming one. Like, they get like mad, like gravier jobs, mm -hmm. um, like all of them. It's, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, Supergirls auditions were going on, right? And I was just, I only went in there to farm for stars. Um, but then last night, I, that's all I ended up doing. I was just in Supergirls rooms the whole time. <laughs> like I was saving stars for 34, but then I just totally forgot that she even existed. And then her stream ended and I was like, whoops, now I got all these stars. <laughs> That's going to be the reason why Oshimoshi ends, because he just switches to <laughs> Supergirls. Yeah. Supergirls is idle enough. We could cover Supergirls on here. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We can. Sure. Uh, I was going to say like something hours. else about Sakamichi. Oh, yeah. I was going to say how crazy it is that people are getting like 80K like or more like views on their stuff. And they're like 15-year-old girls talking to a webcam in Japan and never had like this type of this is so scary guys like I I am scared of doing this and we get like two viewers <laughs> but like imagine that imagine like just talking to like 80 or 40k people that's insane for like a 15 year old yeah girl. as children yeah yeah well so also the showroom numbers are like weird um so they're not exactly true to the number of people in the room oh okay um but i don't know exactly how the ratio works out like i um like stefan who um i'm just gonna talk about now um he's a member of big in japan and we're actually gonna have him on next week um but he actually told me something about how showroom works because yoshimoto does a lot of showroom stuff um so we can talk about it yeah so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right yeah I'm so done. i think that's a good way yeah a good place to segue into um, Ken's stuff. Uh, so, Hi, yeah, Ken. so anyone who's just tuning in now or skipping around, um, we have Ken here today with us, um, along with our regular cast. And we have Ken on because he uh, came back recently um, from a six or seven week trip in Japan um, where he hung out with uh, other, just people he met on the internet, basically, right? Other idol fans, right? Mm -hmm. um, some of them who are known in the community, um, and yeah, he just he went on his first like real eventing tour, um, and he also uh, did stuff that he didn't expect to be doing. Um, he hang, he hung out with uh, uh, Time Bomb Nick over at Big in Japan, um, also known as Nick from Nogi Ego, um, who we're kind of tight with now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna let you uh, take it away, Ken. I mean, like so. I guess, like, my first question is just, um, I don't know, like, uh, just... <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> tell, 
What's your name? <laughs> he just said in the beginning, what's your name? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> his name's Ken. We know that, guys. All right? All right? <laughs> um, why don't you, why don't you uh, like, give us a list of the sort of, like, the events you went to, and then maybe we can start to ask questions from there. Okay. Um, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. I know I went to a... Uh, this like underground idol festival type thing, which led me into going to a uh, a lyrical school life. Then yeah. I, I went to um, uh, Equals Love Handshake. I went to Nogizaka Handshake, and uh, oh, I went to Necronom Idol, uh, one of their performances. But it was like also in like a underground like rock yeah. concert type thing. It fits them, and yeah. <laughs> I just I just forgot everyone else though. Like they were like super pop in for that one. I forgot everyone else. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I mean Oh, no, I ahead. went to uh Suzuki Irie. Yes, that's oh, correct. Oh Irie. I'm a big I'm <laughs> a big saw... I'm a big Hello Project fan. So You saw Morning Musume yeah. twice too, right? Yes, I did. I did. Oh. I almost forgot about that. Ooh. You were there for Ogata graduation. I'm sad. Mm -hmm. That's my Oshi, guys, and she's gone. Rest in peace, bro. <laughs> the good thing about uh, Warner Misume, though, is just like it's so easy to just get fished by another one, right? Yeah, me. Is it? <laughs> I've been out of Morning Misume for like so long that I I hope there it's easy. If I ever go back to it, I hope it's easy to get fished by someone because. I love Momusu. I just know all the songs and old school songs, and I just want to get back to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I have Ken on because I wanted to sort of give viewers sort of like an inside look onto like what the whole experience is like for a foreigner, someone who doesn't live in Japan, to go to Japan and see idols and do shit like that, right? So, I mean, I mean, step one, right, is finding a place, right? Like. <laughs> So what, what did you guys, I know there was a lot of you, right? So how many of you were there and like, what did you guys do? You mean like finding where the event is? No, like uh, like accommodations, like staying, like where did you guys stay? How many of you were there? Oh, so uh, we stayed in, uh, it's like a sub part of like Shinjuku. It's called uh, Okubo and uh, it's like 10 minute walk, but uh, there was, at the most five of us and then like occasionally we'd be in and out so like on average like four but uh, yeah, we were so, crammed in there because yeah you know, so I all you guys like... actually you all stayed in an airbnb right mm -hmm. yeah but like uh, i forgot and i guess most people like overlook this like apartments in japan are a lot smaller than they are in the west so it was like yeah we could just sleep on the floor or whatever if we didn't have room but uh there was not enough room on the floor <laughs> Yeah, so it's just like what, like five dudes just in one small Airbnb, just going yeah. out and doing idle things, doing weep shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah, like okay, yeah. If you put it that way, it makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I have questions. Yeah, we just... Oh, sorry. Okay, go yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna ask about because, like, I want to go to Japan next year and possibly see some things how hard it is for you to get like tickets for this thing because that's something that i see people asking a lot like i know how it is but i want like your experience of like getting tickets to go to a handshake event what are the requirements how it is for a foreigner to get there because a lot of people want to go to japan and do it and they're just they just don't know how to do it yeah so um I mean, obviously, if you're lucky enough to be fluent in Japanese, it's super easy no matter what. But uh, if you're not, I feel like um, for like the super big groups like Nokizaka and uh, Keakizaka and stuff, it's way harder than like say for like underground items or stuff. But like accessibility is easier because like filling out the forms and stuff on uh, on the website to like ballot for handshake tickets, it's confusing if you can't read it right and then uh if you're lucky you know you can finish and s send your email and then you get more emails back and it's like i don't know 
when or lost or what are are they asking me for money? I don't know. But uh, say for like underground idols or something, you just kind of show up and they're never sold out. So you just buy one of their CDs or something and you're in, you know? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. How? So, so what was okay, go ahead. what was the struggle like for you, right? So, so are you are you, you're not fluent in Japanese, are you? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. So, so like for example, like Nogi Handshake, like what was the process? Like, how, what did you have to go through personally, um, from like point A, like I want to go to a Nogi thing, to point B, being in line for the handshake? Okay, so I was lucky enough to have help with the application but it was still like a fierce struggle because i was just like every time i'd get the email i'd have to go and find everybody like hey did you all get an email too who did you guys win because we were like trying to go together right so like who did you guys win and uh what time slots or whatever but um you do like you get you buy the ticket and then there's a paper inside oh you buy the cd and there's a paper inside and then you go to a website can you can you just like explain the the process uh so uh the way i understood it was because i didn't get the the cds e- or uh, not emailed i didn't get them mailed to me we mailed them to a buddy that was staying there and then we distributed them later mm-hmm. but uh they'll just send you like a bunch of cds and then like and i th- think you print the uh the tickets at the store or maybe not i know some things just a combini yeah combini yeah, so I know a lot of things you print out your tickets like at the coffee, mm-hmm. but some things they also just send it to you. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. But if you do print it out at the company, it's that much harder for you because you have to like find someone to print it out for you and pay. At the someone uh, in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Unless like you pay it online. But I know some things you have to pay on printing or like pay on delivery and stuff. Because like I know I tried to get a AKB handshake thing, mm-hmm. but uh, it was pay on delivery and um, I didn't really want to go. So I just asked the guy to miss the delivery. <laughs> so so basically your solution was have friends who know Japanese. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was your solution. Yeah. All right, all right. So if you're, <laughs> if you're like a foreigner that doesn't know any of that, like, can you apply with just like, how do you apply? How do you ballot for, for tickets? Do you just like have your email and your name and that's it? Do you need like a yeah, Japanese like, phone? What are the things that you need? Yeah. yeah. You, you definitely, um, you need somewhere for them to send stuff to. So like, I don't know if Tenso works, but like you need an address where they can send stuff to. And like, um, a working phone number, like a Japanese phone number. I don't know if they call it or not, but it needs to be like a Japanese phone number. And then uh, whenever they ask for your name, people always get confused. Like, hey, should I put this in katakana? I just put it in, in English and it worked out fine because like when it came time for me to like show my passport in the line, it was easier for them. Yeah, yeah of course. Because I know yeah. some people yeah. like they wrote it in katakana and like the person was just like holding up the two, like this is not the same, but it says the same thing. Yeah. You know, um, what else was there? Address. Um, yeah, I think the biggest uh, problem is probably the Japanese the, phone, the right? Because, like, how yeah, do you get yeah. Japanese phone, yeah. guys? Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the phone and the address is the biggest thing. Yeah. Also, like, the way their addresses work is we, uh, it's a lot different from, like, say, America or Canada. So even if you do get someone to uh, to let you use their address, like figuring out where each one goes in each box, because it's like, uh, like this part of the city, this neighborhood, this block, this yeah, mansion, it's weird. this yeah, number, yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, it doesn't help that we can't read the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but, uh, I'm wondering, like, do do nobody does nobody in management expect foreigners, like? Like they, they, I mean, I mean, imagine, I imagine it's difficult on their side too when they have a bunch of people who don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you get a lot of like mix-ups, you get a lot of just a lot of bullshit bureaucracy going on, and it's just, why, why aren't they, why aren't they making like some sort of pathway that's sort of separate at least? I think I that know. they just don't need to. I think like oh, yeah. it boils down yeah, yeah. to that. It boils down to. 
it's already so fucking competitive between mm -hmm. Japanese fans already. Mm -hmm. Like, they can't get tickets. Yeah. They so, don't like, need international. Yeah, like, yeah. it's cool that we have international fans, but really, do we need it? Like, we don't have to make the well, process, like, easier for you guys. <laughs> if it works for Japanese no. fans, we're fine. Like, it's get it sold out and that's it, you know, so. Yeah. When it comes to, like, the balloting part, I completely agree. But, like, in my experience, inside the uh, the actual event hall, there were, like, people that yeah. spoke English to, like, yeah, help yeah, you yeah. out. Yeah. So okay. I guess it's just, like, a test. It's like, if you could get through this, we'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how much of you, how much you love your Wushu men. Let's see if you can get through <laughs> the first if test. The first part. Yeah. First, the first test, test is... All right. So yeah, if you want to attend big idol things, you're gonna have a Japanese friend with a Japanese address and a Japanese number. Yeah. Basically. Or um, yeah. who knows Japanese? Or you figure uh, so out something. It's really hard for your nationals um, yeah. to. Well, be... it's really easy after your first time. Like once someone explains it to you, mm. you're golden. But the first time is the hardest time. Yeah, but you still need all that information that you personally don't have as a person living in oh, yeah, America, of Indonesia, yeah. England. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So moving on from sort of like the sort of the technical aspect of getting into events, right? Um, talk to talk to us about like handshakes, right? Because in the idol world, we always hear about handshakes being the selling point, right? That's why people are buying CDs, not for the music, but for the handshakes, right? Mm -hmm. So from your experience, like how does a handshake change how you are a fan? Mm -hmm. So. Like, uh, well, let, let's start with um, Nogizaka, right? Like, uh, I came in, I won tickets for uh, Takayama. Uh, I won a couple for Misa. I got one for Yoda. And uh, who else did I get? I know I won a couple for uh, Zagara. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and one for Inoue, right? And, like, I've, I've heard stories about, say, like, in a way, you know, like sometimes she's like super tired if you go in the early rounds and everyone's like, why? And then some people like started asking her and it's like, I'm hungover as hell. <laughs> like she just <laughs> straight up admits that to the fans. But like, they'll be like, oh, did you have, did you drink a lot last night? She's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> I mean, all the more power to her. I love drinking too. I, I went to that thing too. So I was like feeling like shit when yeah. I was in line. And I showed up, I saw her and just like put a smile on my face. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of her. I'm just like a fan of that thing. So I wanted yeah. to go to a handshake just to see if it was the same. And I went mm -hmm. and I saw her and I was like, oh man, she's hung over as hell too. <laughs> she's like, like, you guys bonded just, over hangover. You guys bonded yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the problem though. Cause like, I didn't know how to say that. I was just. Like, I, I have this one move uh, that I use for every single hand. Just say yo para. <laughs> what was the move? My move is just, uh, uh, like, konnichiwa or hajimemaste, America did this, and then I just, like, shake their hand. And then at that point, you know, my five seconds is over. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, bye. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you, you did you have any, like, multiple tickets for certain girls so that you would, like, see them again? Oh, now that you mentioned that, I got to go to Hiragana too. Sorry, it was the same day as Nogizaka. Oh. How do you fucking oh. forget Hiragana? Oh. What? Oh my god! Let's Ben Ken Ken cannot come back. <laughs> All right, it was. Uh, thanks for having me on, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> no, so what happened to Hiragana? Yeah. Uh, I won two tickets to Sarina. Oh, okay. Uh, you went to see Sarina. <laughs> but uh, I don't know how I forgot it. You guys, um, you guys psyched me out, you know, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are famous, you know, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <We're new -goose. laughs> but, uh, so that handshake, like I had, I thought I just saw like the best of it already, you know, like I went mm -hmm. to my equals love stuff and I, uh, saw the goods and bads and everything. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> All right. No, um. <laughs> but uh i saw the goods and bads of everything sorry i'll be right it's back. okay it's okay go yeah, ahead just, oh, yeah. okay. All right. we lost, so, we lost some cameras. um i'm just going to tease some stuff right while ken is sort of offline right 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue talking to Ken about his experiences um, at handshakes and at and at concerts mm -hmm. and events, right? As you can um, see, that's his picture week... too. <laughs> <laughs> that's from a terrace house, I think. Yeah. Are you are you back, Ken? Yeah, that is a uh, that is the guy from Terrace House. He uh he got wronged pretty badly. <laughs> Oh. So uh, I had to support yeah. him, you know. <laughs> yeah. So what happened with what happened with Sarna? What happened this year? Oh, so um, I was especially nervous because my move only works for one ticket, but I had two. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah. no, <laughs> what am I supposed <laughs> to say? <laughs> so uh, I went in, I did my move, and then like, I was like, oh shit! Like I just smiled, like. I did not prepare for this at all. And then she just smiled back and we were just like there awkwardly because it was like, there's gotta be like one second left for for like five seconds. And I was like, uh, like I was trying to think of something to say. <laughs> no, it was just awkward. She started... <laughs> yeah, yeah but she, she, saved, she saved everything though. She was like, oh, you know, that's super cool. And she just like started talking. And I was like, and she hit me with the I love you. And I was like, you know what? It <laughs> oh, don't even matter. <laughs> the last part was like, Someone in chat is asking what this is and why they're here. Um, we know, are man. an idol podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, we talk about yeah. Japanese hip hop and uh, all our. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah. So, so yeah, did yeah. did Sarina? Who was your Hiragana Oshi before? Oshi. I just no, want to know. Was oh, it was it Sarina. Was Sarina. Oh, okay. So it just like confirmed. Does it? Did it confirm your love? Yeah. All right. So, um. After we shook the hand, I was like, okay, bye, it was nice seeing you. And then uh, I thought it would just be like normal. I'm just walking wave backwards and everything. But uh, she was like, she stands in the middle, right? But she ran over to the side where the exit is. And she was like, oh, like, and she kept talking to me. I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh Sarina. Oh, my God. That's Expert cute. level fishing. That's, that's Expert cute. Level. So I I wanted to ask. So you went to you went to Equal Love. You went to Nogizaka, and you went to Hiragana. I just wanted to ask if there was, um, if there were any differences in the experience to you um, that stood mm -hmm. out. Yes, um, you get way more time. I feel like with Equals Love because I don't okay. know why. Yeah. I actually don't know why, but you just do for one ticket. But um. Also, like the environment, like it's a way smaller hall. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's kind of like comparing where like an Olympic stadium to like a high school basketball court, almost. You know, <laughs> but oh. uh, but uh, they also like there's so much less people, but there's so much more people. Or for equals love, anyways, like they'll be like standing behind the fence, just like yelling, like oh yo, I owe she this or whatever. But like. Mm -hmm. With no Hizaka, you know, they know their Oshi's not going to hear it, so they're all just like talking to each other or something or waiting yeah. quietly in line. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's a lot more wild the less popular somebody is. <laughs> <laughs> so Maris is showing us a photo card of Oshi Osaruna just to, just to show us. <laughs> yeah. So, so the fan atmosphere is different with Equal Love versus no Hizaka. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, so that, I mean, that's kind of to be expected. Like anyone who doesn't know, right? So we are mostly a 48, 46 here, right? But um, Equal Love is the uh, idol group that's produced by Sasha Reno of AKB and HKT. Um, and it's sort of, it's her group. And they're actually kind of getting a lot of traction lately. I mean, they had a show in Paris yeah. recently. Um, so, I mean, they're starting to become something, right? Um, and so I imagine that means a lot of new fans, right? Who are excitable, like Ken says, right? Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I can see how that's different from something like Nogizaka, where everyone there has already been there before. Also, and, Nogizaka yeah. is probably like two seconds. You just see them and then you're gone. And then they're like, bye. They, yeah, because it's so <laughs> busy, right? Bye. It's so busy. Like, yeah. Equal Stuff sits in a weird spot between Underground and like, yeah. uh, like yeah. Nogizaka yeah. tier because they're produced by Sashihara, right? So like that culture is already there, but like they're not so popular where like you're not heard or like you're not remembered at mm -hmm. all. So it sits in like a very special place and I get it's, it's a special place for like their fans too. And they just like milk it super hard. Like the fans will just stay there and like when the the timer person pushes, they're like, I don't care, I ain't moving. And he's like, I don't really <laughs> care either. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he's like, he, he stayed there for like 15 seconds. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like, and then if you go like real, like actual underground, like you buy one ticket, you get to meet the whole like group with just one ticket, and it's awesome. Like, uh, when I went to lyrical school, I was just like, maybe I get to like talk to one person. They just had a line, they sign your stuff, and then, uh, it's like the CD you bought for the ticket, they'll sign the CD. You get to talk to all of them for like 30 seconds each. That's yeah. good. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. many I mean, girls are in that yeah. group? Yeah. Uh, I think it's five or six. Okay, so it's a smaller know. group. Yeah, 30 so seconds can. each. I mean, that's a whole like realm of like the J-pop world that the internationals just don't know about, right? Like the yeah. whole Czechy idol scene, like, um, like it's a culture. There's a whole culture to it, right? And and I mean, and it doesn't, and it's not like big enough to get televised most of the time, right? So a yeah, lot of international fans just have no clue. Yeah. Um, but it's crazy, right? It's just, yeah. I mean, you you went to a, you went to uh, underground idol events, right, Ken? Um, so I mean, can you can you tell us like uh, about? I mean, you don't have to go through every performance you went to, right? But um, give us some highlights. Like, what was your favorite performance over? the number of weeks that you were in Japan? So my favorite performance was probably lyrical because like um, I had been fished the day before and I was like, yo, let's go. But um, yeah. it, in general, like underground idols are so cool because like they all have super unique like themes and stuff, you know, like we, uh, you and you and I, we know Necronom Idol, right? They have like that like dark, super goth vibe and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then like lyrical school, they're like a hip hop kind of rap rap idol group, but uh, it's it's more like hip hop slash pop, but mm -hmm. uh, it's it, it's just super cool how unique they are. So if you get a chance to uh, go to like a festival where there like a whole bunch of different groups are together, it'll definitely be worth it. And it's usually super cheap too, and like um. Half the time they let you like, uh, like drink inside if you're into like drinking at all. But like they'll serve like regular drinks and stuff too. There's food and stuff because they know the festival is gonna run pretty long. And it's just like I think fans that just sign up to like run like a little curry stand or something too. So like you can like interact with people. Like I I saw a couple people. They they had like a uh, merch from a certain group, and the owners of the the food stand were. We're also fans of that group, and they gave them like free food and stuff, or like discounts and stuff. Because like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, is that indicative of like the difference between um, like the fan atmosphere at an underground event versus like you went to a solo con for morning morning musume, right? Like, mm -hmm. tell us about the difference there. So, I think I think like the whole atmosphere of a handshake versus a, a concert in general is different because like after a yeah. concert everyone's like all pumped up and like there are, everybody wants to like either get home or they're trying to look for like an after party to like talk about the concert or something oh, okay. right I guess and, uh, yeah. and like that if if they're looking for the after party that makes them like way more sociable and then uh like for handshakes, you know, you have a lot of downtime. So, like, mm -hmm. say you only had, like, one or two tickets, right? Then you do your handshake, and you're like, shit, I still have, like, an hour and a half before the next round, you know? Like, so you go outside, or, like, you walk around or something, and you're, like, super bored. Because most people in, like, big big events, like, Noki's out, they just keep to themselves or keep to their friend group because there's just so mm -hmm. many people, like, nothing wants to be bothered. But, mm -hmm. uh when I went to like the underground metal stuff, like I could just go to like the the bar or the smoking area and just like, hey man, what'd you think? And I'd be like, oh yeah. yeah. Or, or just be like, hey man, who are you here for? And I'd be like so down to talk because like, especially with the underground stuff, they know they don't have a lot of fans. So they're always down to like support their group by getting another fan to come in. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like, you should check them out. They're performing like in a couple minutes or you know, thirty minutes or whatever. Like this girl's cute. This girl's cute. Like, you just, they, I don't. It, it's almost like bragging to them, but like in a very like friendly, like 
here, come watch this with me kind of lay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for Noki, I didn't, I didn't get that feeling at all, you know? It's just it's packed. Just like, it's just, like, insanely... Yeah, it's just a lot of people, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, so you you also you spent some time um, with our friend Nick, right? Yes. Um, you, our you friend, play... I mean your friend Nick. I don't know Nick <laughs> other than he's like a your friend. Nick. Yeah, he's you like can a say boss. our friend, but he's technically our boss. <laughs> <laughs> our boss. I want to yeah, be so, friends with uh, Nick. Nick, be my friend. Yeah, Nick. Hi, Nick. Ken and I are actually <laughs> moderators for Big in Japan, which is another podcast, or they're trying to evolve from podcasts uh, about. Um, Basically about being on the inside of the Japanese entertainment industry. Um, so it's run by four people. Um, they're all uh, Japanese comedians. They all speak English. Um, so it's like a bilingual stream. Yeah. Um, and then Nick, who has appeared on Nogi Ayo, um, he actually does IRL streams on Twitch. Um, and Ken, you were actually in some of those, right? Yeah, I was. They were, uh, so. they were a lot of fun. Nick, um, he's exactly like he is on stream. He's super nice. He's a little bit more outgoing. Uh, like when you meet him compared yeah, to like the that. persona he'll show like on camera it's like oh because he is so down to talk to you as long as you are down to talk to him you know <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah and that was so fun and that. unique yeah so you, you you actually got to meet some Japanese comedians over your trip too right like besides uh, Snake yeah uh, there was one time we met his comedy partner Takakua uh, we met Kitan, and uh, I think that's it. I might be wrong, though. Did you I know meet I, Ike? I met Ike separately. Like, I just bumped into him on the street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that these are all orai genin in Japan. Um, so Kitan is a member of Sun Music, like Nick. So she's his kohai. And then, like, Ike um, is kind of a big deal in Japan. I mean, uh, he's from Nigeria, right? Um, yes. And he's sort of coming up as a, a, a foreign yeah. uh, comedian in Japan. Yeah. I even um, know who he yeah. is, and I don't know a lot. So there you go. Yeah. That's how you can tell. Yeah, he made it. And it, was it was it through was it through being in Japan that you went to Nakaman Idol? Necromon Necromon and uh, Necro Necronom Idol. Did, Necronom Idol. Yeah, um, actually, one of the guys who's uh, he. He's a regular on uh, Nick's like IRL streams and stuff. He mm -hmm. uh, he knows one of the guys that's involved in like the whole production process mm -hmm. with uh, Necronom Idol, and uh, he was like, "Hey, I can get you guys some free tickets to come to this event." And you're and like, then, uh, "Sure." Well, yeah, Nick was like, "Hey, does anyone yeah. want to come?" And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah, we went to that, and then uh, you know. It brought them, or yeah, it brought them to where they are now. You know, That's uh, cool. just in case you guys didn't know, uh, Big in Japan is partnering with Necronom Idol to start a uh, weekly, like, variety show. Is that is that the correct term? Yeah, variety, variety show. Yeah, variety show starting in September. With it's uh, it's going to be bilingual, and uh, it's just like I think they're just gonna, like play games and like tell jokes and stuff. That's with the cool. members of Necronom Idol, but uh, it's going to be super That's fun, cool. so you guys should check it out. Yeah, yeah, just to give some more detail on that, I mean, so Big in Japan, um, they're hosted by comedians in Japan, so like, they're kind of known, right? Um, oh, shit. And so, the, what's going on? I just, nothing, just continue. <laughs> <laughs> just... All right, um, so yeah, so we're going to be plugging Big in Japan a little bit here. Um, so, so they, yes, they've teamed up with Necromon Idol, Necronom Idol, um, through their manager and producer. Um, and they're actually, yes, they're starting a variety show, which Nick is going to be the MC of, along with his partner, uh, Takakua. Um, why are you guys laughing? What's going on? I just fucked up the stream, but it's fixed, so don't worry. <laughs> OK. OK. <clears throat> yeah, so they, they are doing a variety show with the idol group. Um, and they're actually going to be streaming on Nick's Twitch account, um, which has now been renamed mm -hmm. to Big in Japan. Big underscore in underscore Japan underscore show. Um, 
And yeah, and then also Stefan, who's a member on Big in Japan, is going to be a writer and director on the show. Um, and so this is kind of a big deal for them, um, just because it's a, it's an evolution to what they were just doing before, which is just a, a free to watch podcast or free to listen podcast. Um, and it's kind of exciting for the people who are inside, like me and Ken, um, just because we just sort of got wrapped up in this whole deal and we didn't even we we didn't expect this to happen when we found out who nick was and we started talking to nick right um and the exciting news is that we will actually have stefan um himself on our podcast oshimoshi uh next week um stefan is uh he's a comedian under yoshimo creative which is one of the biggest um entertainment companies in japan if not the biggest um yoshimoto also does idol stuff they are in charge of show title which is in char charge of nmb Right. Um, so Stefan knows some stuff there. Stefan himself also, um, he tried out for Yoshimoto Zaka. So he'll have some information on that. And so we're, we're, we, we here are excited to have Stefan on to just tell us some stuff about things inside, like going on in yep. the inter entertainment world in know. Japan. Um, and yeah, so if you are looking forward to that, he will be on next week. Um, talking about whatever the hell we want him to talk about. We'll be asking him questions left and right, I'm sure. Um, and then also, like, just the other day, Nick uh, announced on his stream about his intention to work with us here at Oshimoshi. Um, and that might maybe involve uh, idle stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a whole world of things that we- I want to have Nick here and... first. Let's get Nick in, and then we'll, yeah, we'll talk can. about stuff, yeah. I want to have Nick in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk to Slope. So before, before we close things up here, right? Yeah. I want to ask um, Ken, uh, what is, what was, give me like the most memorable thing that happened to you. It doesn't have to be idol related over this trip in Japan. Um, most memorable? Yeah. I mean, it's an embarrassing story. So go ahead. <laughs> if you want to, I mean, you want to tell it. it. So to you. Okay. So uh, I, I guess you could take this as like a, kind of like look into like uh the difference in fashion because like you know how in america like it's acceptable to have like cut off sleeves and all this other stuff right okay. so i had i had this like really loose cut off shirt it was cut down to like almost my hip yeah. and uh, i was wearing that i was wearing that in japan just with my backpack chilling and i was waiting for the train and uh i look up into uh, a different train and then i see this girl looking at me and she's laughing and i was like Oh hey, what's up? And then she grabs her friend and pulls her, that makes her look at me too, and she starts laughing too. I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> and then I look at myself, and my cutoff shirt is pushed over to the side, so my nipple is showing, <laughs> and they're just <laughs> laughing at that. And I was like, oh, this is not. I'm leaving. <laughs> I, just, I gotta leave the station. <laughs> and you just leave. <laughs> Miss my train, whatever. <laughs> Free the nipples, man. It's fine. Just like join the team. <laughs> But yeah, like no one would have laughed at that in America. Like, hey man, your shirt's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at that weirdo. <laughs> we can see your nipples. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. We don't do this here. People are just walking around naked here. That's what we get in Canada. <laughs> so it's fine. Yeah. But that's yeah. it. Yeah. So <laughs> we're we're nearing the end of the show here. We talked about a lot of things, a lot of yeah. different things, a lot of scattered information. Um, sorry if it gets a little crazy. Um, as always, I will be. Um, time stamping and putting links in the description uh, for anyone anyone who wants to watch this over to just skip around and find out what they're interested in. Um, but before we close out, uh, does anyone have any closing things they want to talk about? Um, Ken, is there anything that you came in wanting to talk about that you, you didn't get a chance to? Uh, no, I think we covered everything, but uh, just to plug Stefan real quick, his uh, he's in the comedy duo called Iruka Punch. So mm. if you're thinking about checking them out, you can look that up too. Seven's also done a documentary movie over oh, Monza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how easy it is to find that. Um, we can ask him next but week. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, they, Big in Japan also just opened a Patreon. Um, if anyone's interested in that, there'll be a link in the description. They started a Patreon. Yeah. Maris, is there anything that you wanted to add in uh, about anything? No, I just want to stop working, play some more God of War, and yeah, <laughs> that's all I want. Boy, I just want to play some God of let War. Boy. 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 Boy, let her play her baby, yeah. boy. Boy, just let me go play games, boy. 
boy. No kidding. Yeah, it's just uh yeah, thanks uh, for for being here, Ken. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah. <laughs> Mina, anything? <laughs> oh, oh. Mina? Are we losing Mina? Mina? Mina died. Mina doesn't have anything okay. to say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. oh, sorry, my screen's Are really you... bad. But like, just watch PD. To, to okay. Just, yeah, PD's in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Does that just? Yeah. That that's all. Nothing much. That's it. Yeah. So that's it for the show. Um, if you liked what you saw, uh, you can follow us here on Twitch uh, at Oshimoshi Cast. You can follow us on Twitter at Oshimoshi Cast. Um, and then we're also on YouTube. That's where we post all of our videos after the fact. Um, uh, you can just search Oshimoshi. Uh, and yeah, and then we all have our own Twitter accounts too. I'm at Wii Bookstore. Mia Maris is at Marison546. Mina's at Mayuri24. Ken is at Con the Eagle. Um, so yeah, if you want to click those follow buttons, go ahead. We won't stop you. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the show. This was Oshimoshi, episode 10. Um, thanks everyone who joined. Uh, we kind of lost people as we went on, just because I think Sakamichi auditions are going on still, and I yeah, mean, they're yeah. a lot. They're a lot more fun than us. At so least I, number eighteen. Number eighteen, Ken says. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess this is goodbye. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. Bye, bye, guys. See you next week. Bye.